Let's do this, shall we? It's Monday, it's here again. Day one of the week is under your belt, so let's finish it off with a little bit of football chat. I'm Jim, City, United, Oldenbury, whatever team you support, give us a bell and have your say. 0345 111 76 25 is the phone number. Get involved. Let us know what you want to talk about from the world of football today and waiting to take your calls. We have Manchester United hero, Mickey Thomas. Evening, Mickey. Evening, Jim. And City legend, Gary Owen for the Blues. Evening, Gary. Jim Bell, good evening. So, we've got drop points at Berry, uh, Burnley, rather. We've got silent stands at Old Trafford. We've got star players misfiring. We've got players giving the ball away. And we've got missed chances galore for the Blues. So, pick up the phone and tell us your views. 0345 111 76 25 is the number. Cost no more than calling your local down the road. Get in touch on 87711, the text number, if you don't want to give us a call. That's how you get in contact. And what are we going to talk about first? Well, Gary Neville called it a joke. Jake Humphreys said that it shows Pep Guardiola's petulant side. But what did you make of Pep choosing only to name six players on the bench for the Burnley game? Gary, what did you think of that? Listen, it was a strange... Um, I thought I'd read it wrong when I saw it come up on TV and there's only six subs. I thought, well, seven. And then the explanation came that he didn't have any fit players. OK, maybe he has got a lot of injuries. But I, I tend to agree a little bit with uh, with Gary Neville. And, uh, there's the fans, first time for everything, isn't there? Since fans <laughs> will like me saying this. But I think it would have been a great experience for a young kid just to go along for experience. You can only play three subs anyway. So, you know, it would have been a, a nice experience. I remember when I was only apprentice going with, uh, with City to Old Trafford, mm. the famous Dennis Law back heel. Um, and, and they took me just for the experience. I was doing well in the in the younger teams. Not that I was going to get in the first team at that point. I was only 16. But they just took me for the experience. And it was a fantastic experience. I mean, obviously, I didn't get do to you think, the Do you think that on. prepared you more for no, when it, you did eventually make your no, debut? No, I'll, I'll tell you what it did. It gave me the hunger to say, I want some of this. Okay, you see it from a distance, but actually to be on the coach with them, going to a game, being in the dressing room, listening to it, sitting on the bench, being that close to the action without you actually getting on, yes, it did for me. But, you know, times have changed and, um, and, and football has changed and it's not done that way anymore. You remember there's only one sub then. Mm. Now they've got seven. Um, so it was a strange decision. Maybe he did it to, to prove a point because, okay, he had six substitutes. You can only play three anyway. Uh, but... Maybe I think he did it just to say to you know to to make it more obvious when I don't think he needed to do it in my opinion. Do you think he can do what he wants? Yeah, of course I mean, he's he top of the table. If he wants to go with six, five, four, three, let him get on with it. You know he, he's at the top of the table. Um, you're running away with the league. Um, I think people looking for a little bit to have a go at him. Uh, in it's that a little respect, bit. Of pe- it is a bit no. of petulance though, isn't it? From his point of view, he's going. Well, he's either going. The referees need to protect us more and stop our players getting injured, or he's sending a message to the board going, "Look, you didn't get me." Mar- uh, no, it's not. The, the listen, it's the not. It's not bench. the board. I think he's it's, he's doing it to officials for injuries. The the the. the the second team, if you like to call, or younger team, because there's no no <clears> reserve team anymore. Uh, the younger team played on the on the Friday, so he said that uh, they weren't available. But I think, uh, listen, if it's a one of you the, say, if it's one of the young team. lads yeah, who just need, you think, oh, he's doing well. Why don't we just give him a boost and do it? Yeah, uh, maybe there's pros and cons for it. Yeah, who knows, guys? I think what what it is, what's what's coming out is because he has brought vast amounts of players, not. Going through the youth system, etc. I think people are trying to criticise them in that respect. They do, but you know, you know, tossing, are they going to get an opportunity? Yeah, but are they a tossing uh, Ar- 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 Easy for me to <laughs> say. One, yeah. And uh, and young Diaz was on the bench. Yeah. Diaz came on. And he's given five. And he's, given, he's given five debuts to academy players this season. So yeah, he's not. He's, he's not being shy in bringing not, through players. Yeah. And, and young and young Garcia, who played, uh, he's gone out on loan. He's wanting. Mm. He's wanting some of the younger players who are the better players, like Angelino, sent him out there to get better, uh, a higher grade of football than playing just in EDS and under twenty, under 21s. He wants them to play in a higher level to get used to it because it's no preparation playing new team football to come into the Premier League and at the level we're playing at. So they need to get higher and better um, preparation when they're ready and, and if they're good enough they'll come back and if they're good enough they'll get in the squad There was another point made by Gary Neville in his statement when he called Pep Guardiola's actions a joke where he said the message that's being sent out is questionable as well because 
if you are a young player or a youth coach looking at that and looking at a young player not getting an opportunity that should have been handed them to be on the bench, it sends a bad message out that they well, might you can look not at it two ways, Jim. You can look at it two ways. What about the guys that do deserve to get uh, um, a seat on that bench but played the night before, mm. and then somebody who is who's not getting into their team goes with the with the first team he's probably giving the wrong message there hang on a minute I'm, work, I'm working my tripe off here and I've played and even you know even to tech me just for experience but you take somebody else who's not doing as well so there's two ways to look at it but certainly the way I would have looked at it and I'm definitely not Pep Guardiola by any stretch is that it would have been nice for somebody younger as you can only play three subs anyway is to have gone along and had that experience but he's done it and, and I believe he's, he's done it for a reason and that reason is to, to highlight how many players we have injured? Phil's a City fan, and it's a first for Phil, because he's agreeing with Mickey Thomas. Well, I am, but I don't know what all the fuss is about. And Mickey's right. He, he, if he names three, four, five, six, so what? He wasn't trying to make a statement. That's number one. Number two, this has had more... Well, Phil, if, he, Phil, if he wasn't trying to make a statement, what was he doing? What was his thinking behind it if he wasn't trying to well, make a statement? Because I agree it's a bit of a storm in a teacup, but that's exactly what he was doing. He was making a statement. He was making a point. <laughs> I don't think he was. I just think he, he, he decided he only needed six subs for that game. This is getting more coverage than the leg-breaking tackles of the last <laughs> few weeks. Right. Roy, 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 Roy Hodgson, earlier in the season, only named five. And I didn't even find out about that till yesterday. It must have been in the Daily Crystal Palace or something. Because I didn't know. <laughs> I don't, I don't know where to get the money. They're getting no money out of me for it. Because I think it's pathetic we used to be having to go in the top of the table, playing great football, got great players in the side. Why do you want to get a little thing like that, Jim? It's just a little thing to have a go in. It's a talking point, isn't it? <laughs> We've got to talk about something. I don't know. I've agreed kidding. with you twice in the last fortnight, Mickey. What's going on here? There's something on. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I'm thinking what's going on. Don't, don't, you agree with him? I, so, I think. What's the think... problem, Gary? Gary, what's the problem? He, he, he's not broke any rules, right? He can only use three. The, 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 I used to think there's no agenda against City. I wasn't one of the conspiracy theorists, but I'm starting to wonder. I really yeah, but just let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question because it, it happened to me, so I know. Wouldn't it have been? Listen, wouldn't it be nice, even if we're not one of the under ni under 19s or 21s or 23s, whatever they play in the uh, in the EDS? Wouldn't it have been nice just to take a young boy just along who's probably doing well? just to give him a bit of a boost and, and let him feel what it's like to be on the coach, going to the game, get off the field, be part, think he's part of the first team. It happened to me when I was 16, going to Old Trafford for a derby game. So I know what it meant to me. And then sat on a bench, even though he knows he's not playing, but just to feel it and think, right, this is where I want to be, that gives you a little bit more incentive to get through. Because some of the players who are, who are coming, not just our club, but other clubs, get to a certain stage but don't even get the chance to train with the first team because they can't get into that group so I, for me I thought it was fantastic what happened now that's the only thing I think is a spur seat and nobody can fill it it'd be nice to give somebody that's doing well in the younger just, just to give them a feel of what it's like mm. I'll agree with you to a point, God, Gary, but I mean, this is, that, as Jim's just said, it's, it's a storm. It's not a storm in a teacup, it's a storm in a dirty great big bucket, right? There's just, there's just no, no need for all this overkill on it. There really isn't. So let me ask uh, you, just, let, me, let me just ask you very quickly then, if... Yeah? He was making a point. If that was the purpose behind it, it was to highlight the injuries they've had and some of the, I'll call them horror tackles that have been uh, inflicted on City over the last few weeks... Is that something that needed highlighting? Do players of the calibre that they have in that City squad need a bit more protection than they've currently been getting in the Premier League? They, they definitely... I mean, look at, the, look at the challenge on the United kid the other day. Yeah. You know, they, something, something needs doing about... That was... That, I'd be put in jail for that. That, that, was a, that was scandalous. Something does need doing about that. If that was Pep's point then fair enough, I'm not sure it was. But surely it's down to the powers that be to do something about that. That's not the manager's and the players' responsibility. The powers that be can see what's going on, not just with City players. Like I say, the United lad the other day, something needs to Sanchez, be, something yeah. needs to be Sanchez. done. Uh, yeah, something needs... That was it. Did you see the challenge on that McTominay? McTominay oh, shocking. How was, that, how was that not a penalty? The only person that didn't think it was a penalty it was, was the referee. Yards. The referee was five yards. Unbelievable. In fact... I mean, that's a young... That, that, sorry, Karen, that's a young yeah. kid. 
you know, trying to make trying to make his way in football, as you just said. Maybe maybe he didn't want to put a kid on the bench in case that happened to him. But you know, you the know, thing about was... it all is whether he's a young kid or an old professional. It's a it's a. How can it not be a penalty? How can it not be a foul? If it's a foul outside the box, a penalty inside the box. Yeah. How, if the referee cannot see that, I would say then he's not fit to referee because if he didn't think that's a the, a penalty or a free kick. There's something wrong with his judgment on tackles in football or we, challenges. A debut home goal on a debut home debut for Alexi Sanchez. But was it the performance that Manchester United fans want? We'll talk to Mickey in a second. But first, let's get a views of Rob. He's a United fan. He's on the phone. Evening, Rob. Good evening. How are you doing? Very well, my friend. How did you find the United game at the weekend? 2 0, professional, uh, workmanlike performance? Yeah, to be to be honest with you, Jim, I'm not I'm not enamoured at the moment. I think on paper this is as good a squad as we've had in a long time, but I don't think the formation and the setup is is getting the best out of them. Um, you know, two two things I point to: we we signed Paul Pogba, we signed a Rolls Royce, and we're using him like a Ford Transit in a two man midfield. Guys never played in a two man midfield. We sign him as the most creative player in Serie A, chances created, assists in a three-man midfield. That's how he was playing. And after 18 months, we're still trying to turn him into a defensive holding midfielder alongside Matic. When I saw the team line up against Tottenham last week, I knew we were in trouble. And, you know, and I don't understand why we're still banging our head against the wall and persisting with this two-man midfield. Yeah, you can get away with it against the, the smaller teams, but our record against the big boys is woeful. And I don't think it's a coincidence that, you know, we've got a guy there who is tactically a little bit ill-disciplined, but creatively is phenomenal. And we underutilize him. And it's, it's a similar um, situation with Sanchez. You know, we, he's a great player, don't get me wrong, and he's world-class. But we signed him when we've got a glaring hole on the right side of our attack and in three games that's the only place he hasn't played he's played on the left and through the middle the two areas where we were already pretty well covered and stacked again so all we're doing really in my opinion I think we signed him to get one over on City but the, the balance just isn't there in the team we should be playing 4-3-3 to get the best out of Pogba but that still leaves us with a hole on the right side of attack so and who misses out Robin if, you, if you're going to play Pogba in an attacking position. We've already got Lukaku, Mata, Martial, Rashford, Lingard, no, 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 Sanchez all no. you, vying you, for those positions. Play him on the left of a midfield three, as he did at Juventus, and as he's occasionally done for us. And whenever he's been on the left of a midfield three and had, you know, Matic and Herrera to back him up, he's phenomenal. He bosses the game. But stick him in a midfield two and, you know, with the three in the 4 2 three, one. And it, against the better teams, we get found out. It's too much for Matic to do on his own. Yeah, and I, I saw I, that. I, I, agree what, sorry, I agree what you say about Pogba. I think, he, you know, he, he's not a defensive midfield player, no, no question about that. He is a, a player that's got great technique, great ability and great opportunities and can score goals. But unfortunately, in, in that two-man midfield, I, I tend to agree with him that, in that respect. But... You have to look at the bigger piece. He's trying to get it right. He's trying to get a balance. I mean, Sanchez, for me, will be yeah. one of the best players for a very long yeah, time. Maybe, he's got a months, he's been persisting. How long do you persist with something that doesn't work? Well, well he didn't well, persist well, at the I, weekend, I, I did he? He dropped Pogba. With the manager, I mean, he sees something different from what we both see. And uh, he's the manager. He has to live and die by what decisions he makes. But and I'm sure, in my thinking... He's a little bit way off what he wants at this moment in time in, in terms of his proper 11. And I think you're right, we are in balance on that left-hand side. We've got so many players that can play in that position. And I will agree with you, we do need that right side he's sorting out. Um, he has uh, Valencia up, up and down that right-hand side. But we haven't really got that quality, as you said, uh, to match the left-hand side, which we have in abundance. Correct. And yet, you saw the touch map against Huddersfield. Lingard, Martial, Lukaku, Mata, Sanchez. It was all down the middle. The gaps on the left and the right, it was embarrassing. A better team than Huddersfield would have just put three in the middle of the park and destroyed us on the break on the flank. Well, I mean, your, 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 your formation, what you went there, how would, how would you line up then? Uh, not, not the back four, but the 3-3. The three, three. How would you go with that? With Midfield the, and the, the, players, the, the players that we've got at the minute... Pogba on the left of a midfield three, Matic yeah. in the middle, Herrera on the right, and up top, 
Lukaku down the middle, you know, give give the lad a chance of actually putting the ball in the box, which I thought was why we signed him in the first place. Martial on the left, and to be perfectly frank, I'd say to Sanchez, mate, there's a big hole on the right side of our attack. If you want to play there and stay there, then you're going to play every minute of every game because at the moment the only competition there is matter. Yeah, I, I thought I thought yeah. Sanchez for me was the only one really that wanted to do something special at the weekend. I thought he wanted the ball in every area. He went deep for it to pick it up, and that I think at times he looked a little bit frustrated the way we we set up a little bit. Of course, yeah, and I, I sympathise with that. But I also thought that at the weekend, the reason that Sanchez stood out was because everybody else, at times, I don't think they fully understood what the hell was going on. What was the formation? There was a big change in personnel after being beaten against Spurs. And looking at, there was no balance in the team. I mean, you know, Sanchez, again, don't get me wrong, he played well. But did he play well because... You know, like Rooney used to do, he wants the ball everywhere on the pitch. But, and but he can wants I just to say what he, Gary he Owen said to me on? Can I say what Gary Owen said to me on Friday? Was he, he was spot on because they came to defend in numbers and they made it difficult. And you were right, guys. They they came and it's. I don't care what eleven you put out when the players, a team plays in that formation and a negative and want to defend it at all times. It's hard to break down, Mickey. It's hard. It, it's very difficult. To, but you have to get. You said to me, have to get an early goal, and I agree. And you don't if you don't, goal, it if you a don't very it's game. important to get that first goal. When you yeah. get the first goal, I don't know, but the game must have opened up a little bit because the longer the game went on, some teams now don't even open up until the last 10 minutes mm. and then try and just nick mm. something in the last 10 minutes because they don't want to concede another. But certainly the first goal is always is always vital. You need to get it because if Huddersfield would have got it, I'm not quite sure if they had any chances to get it, but if they would have got it, then phew, that would have been a long afternoon. Yeah, and, and, and to the call as well, I mean, Martial left-hand side, Rashford left-hand side. Would you like to see maybe Martial go on that right-hand side and see what he can do down there, damage? Well, we've tried him there. Yeah, we, we have it's tried him, but... I think Martial is a number nine through and through. He's just yeah. doing a good job on the left. But I don't... You know, it's for me, it speaks volumes. When you've got a guy like Henri saying, this kid is better than I was at that age, mm. you know, I, I think that tells you everything you need to know. And I think he's got unlimited potential. But again, he's having to adapt just to get in the team. And I'm, I wonder if he was at City... Would he be in, would he be you know being asked to compromise his game as much as he is? I don't know. Would he would he be flourishing more under Pep than under Jose? But listen, going on what you're saying, Gio, about breaking teams down, uh, you know, if you're trying to to break a team down, then surely you want your most creative player on the pitch playing in an optimal position to thread the ball through the eye of the needle. And for me, that's Pogba on the left of a midfield. And you know something you know, which you're and, absolutely right, and you made a point. It was, uh, it was like um, like a desert down the left and right hand side. When when they're defending numbers, and I've seen it many many times, especially when I went to Huddersfield in particular, they want you they want you to come down the middle because that's where the strength is. But you've got to have people to get around the back of it, and then once you get around the back and you can put balls in, then you've got to flood the box. Then anything can happen. But I mean, United will find it and have found it as City have found it this season. When teams come, their first first priority is not to concede. Secondly. If they don't have a shot on goal, not too bothered, provided they don't concede. I'm more than happy to go home, bore everybody to death, and, and have a nil-nil. I understand why, because if they come out against United or City, then they're in for a hammering most of the time. So I understand why they do it, but what I don't understand, do all that defending with the best will in the world, but if you have a chance to get out, then certainly you've got, you've got responsibility to your own fans to try and trying to attack and get a goal. We spoke to Rob a moment ago who was very critical of the way that Jose Mourinho has been using Paul Pogba in a defensive position but we've had a reaction to that Alex. We have indeed Jim. Yeah we've got Jamie who says that last caller was a muppet. Pogba was used <laughs> in an advanced <laughs> position when he came on and we absolutely dominated. His comments about Martial flourishing more under Pep have no basis whatsoever. An angry tweet to start the next bit Jim. There you go isn't it nice football it's nice to have opinions nice that everyone can disagree all the time.